God, because I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for what you've done for me. Oh, praise God, family. Oh, give me worship. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Right, yes, Lord. And before I go away, let me, let me, let me do, do, do I gotta do a take two. I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do a take two. I gotta start the call. Let me start that over. Let me start that over. Let me start that over one more time. <laughs> now, take two. <laughs> gotta make a start the car. Amen. Praise God. Ah, uh, yes, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for telling me, Lord. For telling me to start the car. <laughs> oh, praise God. Hallelujah. me oh come on now yo sir thank you lord for what you've done for me Woo. say it Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us, Lord, as a fellowship. Thank you for what you've done for the channel, my family, our friends, all the people close to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done for me. Oh, just Shabbat for a minute. Just take a moment. Just take a moment. Thank him. Just take a moment and thank him. If God's been good to you, if God's been good to you, just take a moment. Thank him, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy. Your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Oh, carefree time. A time to go to your happy place. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. A time to go to your happy place right here and be Carefree. Ah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah.
God, praise God, to be carefree, to leave the world at the door right now as we enter into worship, to leave the world at the door and enter in to his secret place under the shadow of the Almighty. And just rest right now. For the next 30 minutes, just rest. Just rest. Give everything to the Lord right now in prayer. Every worry, every stress, every fear, every struggle, every attack. Whatever it is right now, heavy on your heart. Whatever is heavy on your mind right now. Take that thing right now and just lay it on the altar. Lay it on the altar and let go. Lay it on the altar and just rest. No stress. Just rest. Just chill. Stand still in the presence of the Lord. Just chill. Stand still in the presence of the Lord. Peace be still. Peace be still. And we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter and we are the clay, Lord. Mold us, Lord. Mold us in the way you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord. Every day, have your way, Lord. Have your way in every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence. And say, use me, Lord. Use me. As you see fit for the kingdom, Lord. We've taken every worry and stress, anxiety, fear, struggle, lack, infirmity, whatever it is. We've laid everything on the Lord. We've laid everything on the altar. And now we let go. Lay it on the altar. Let go. And trust God. Let go. And let God have it. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong power in each of our lives whose hand we never let go we never ever let go of your unchanging hand you're the same yesterday today forevermore you are the air we breathe as a deer panted for the water so our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale. The word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale. The word of God and we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord to those who are called according to his purpose inhale the breath of life exhale the word of God and now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly about all we could ask or think according to the power within us 
Oh, yes, Lord. We feel the weightlifting. We feel the weightlifting being replaced by peace beyond understanding. A fresh anointing's flowing right now. Receive it. Receive that fresh anointing. Let's stand together. I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day. In the name of Jesus, so we'll say it again. I receive a fresh anointing for this day. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for healing. Anointing for breakthrough. Deliverance. Provision. Protection. Anointing for whatever it is you need to walk in victory. Receive it. Bask in it. Immerse yourself in it. And rest in it. Hallelujah. Rest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah.
is my help in every need. God does my every hunger feed. God walks beside me, guides my way through every moment of the day. I now am wise. I now am true, patient, kind, and loving too. All things I am can do and be through Christ the truth that lives in me. God is my health. I can't be sick. God is my strength, unfailing quick. God is my all. I know no fear since God and love and truth are here. In Jesus' name, amen. Right now, I'm talking to a person listening. And you've been here all the time. And you heard the, the jazz praise. You heard the prayers and stillness and sharing. But right now, you can't connect. Because right now, your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turned away from you. Friends stab you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yes, somehow you find yourself on this channel and you have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. Because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And that is why you're here. 
You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and then fell back into sin, there's nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So right now, if you're a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with depression, darkness, and hopelessness, I want you to pray with me. Repeat after me. Say this prayer with me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. Right now, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without living up to you first. Create in me, O Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is right to receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us. We're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God let you know it's going to be all right. God got this. God's got you. The next step is to repent. And repent means to change your ways from the sinful ways to God's ways. And the more time you spend with God every day, the stronger you get. And next thing you know, you'll turn away from the sinful things you used to do and instead seek God's will and God's way in his word. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other mark spirit, name unnamed, seen unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, our home, our kids, our marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord, restore. Restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart. Because of the devil attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep a hedge protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart. But who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose a supernatural healing. Physical, spiritual, and emotional healing. By your stripes, we're healed. And Lord, we confess, Lord. We confess every day. I believe I receive my healing. In Jesus' name, I believe I receive my healing. In Jesus' name, every day. Confess it and thank him. Confess it and thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose a supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough, a supernatural debt 
Cancellate, Lord. Lord, let your blessing, Lord, your blessing of abundance, Lord, rain down, Lord, rain down on fellowship, air, financial need, whatever it is. For you, Lord, shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory. For Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything, for the Lord is my shepherd. And let's say this part together, fellowship, repeat after me. For I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I'm blessed going in and blessed going out. I'm blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall by any means hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know. Every day we take time to see it. We take time every day to visualize your miracle. See it. Believe it. And then receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day you wake up, could be a day, a manifestation, of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face and divine approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray over. A blessing to everyone you pass by and bless without opening your mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you 24-7, 365, including leap year. So Father God, all these things we ask, Lord. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. And the fellowship say, Amen. 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 Amen.